Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Again, <laughs> and Clarimonde, she's looking very good. I was going to give this to Melanie, but I think it looks good on Clarimonde here. Anyway. And here's Dolores, is it the other way around? See, we can have it back to front, and it's a different pattern. And Clarimonde is just slightly round a different way now. It looks jolly good, I think. I think they look nice. I'm going to get a new camera sorted out. So I've got another new camera now, so... Well, this is a new camera, a new second-hand camera, but I mean, honestly, let's pretend it's meant to be surreal and slow. Slow-mo. Right, now, um, Dolores has got this one on. And uh, and Melanie here is looking quite good in this, but um, I think I'll give this to Carimonde. I do think it suits her better, even though Melanie looks very good in it. Let's try and hold her up to the light. Oh, yeah, she looks nice in that. Very nice, Melanie. Very good. Yeah, I'm sorry it's uh, slow moving. I'm doing my best. Let me there we go, let's pretend we're, we're in artistic slow motion. We're in slow mo. There's Melanie looking very sophisticated. She doesn't usually dress like this, she's more casual usually, but she looks very good. Very nice, Melanie. Almost be a rival to Sonia for being a top model. But Melanie's at all as well. She looks really good. Oh, thank you, she's saying. Yeah. And here's our Dolores. The robot. There we 
Okay, I'll put some new batteries in the camera now so you can see Melanie a bit better. It's a shame she's got flat feet though, it spoils the look. So yeah, that's what makes me think I'll give it to Clara Monday instead. So let's look at Dolores in her robot dress. Yeah, we've still got the uh, slow-mo, but see that little face? What oh, cute! That little face on there. Isn't that cute? Little robot face. <laughs> there's another one. And there's another one. So that looks okay on her. And here's Natalia in another dress that Dolores had and also Bonnie Pink wore it. But um, I think it looks nice. You know, I quite like this slow-mo effect. I think it's quite artistic. Yeah. And uh, here's Clarimonde in another nice uh, sort of peachy dress. See, she's got high heels, so things look nicer on her. Yeah. Well, oh. oh, I got this. Biden's brought it back from Costa. And, that's so um, cute. I got this book for Amazon. The biscuit. And um, got some chocolate Oliver biscuits. I hunt in Palmer's. There's the top. Is there stopping the I think it's forts, forts that make Bath Oliver biscuits, and these are the chocolate Olivers, and they're lovely. I'm so pleased to get some of these again. Now, every time I try and film the sizzling of one of these, you can't hear it because the camera's doing that awful low battery noise. Well, let's try. This is how heavy these things are. I'm going to try in a minute to see if we can get the fizzing this week because I've got new batteries in here. Right, let's try again. Ooh. Oh, well, yes, we're fizzing after I dropped the camera in the sink. That's why it's still going. Oh my giddy aunt. You're in fizzing? Well, I only dropped the camera, and this lens doesn't come out, it's a cheap camera so with the Vivitar, so it's the new one. There we go. Can we see him? There he is. And uh, so I'm hoping he's going to keep going, not like my old silver ones, I dropped in the sea and killed him, but then I got him back to life again with isopropyl alcohol about a month later. Anyhow, this one hasn't got a, a strap on it to hold it, so can we hear the fizzing? Let me put some more water in there. You hear the fizzing? Oh, the other week he was actually tapping in the water. Can't hear him tapping this time. <laughs> oh, I like the funniest things, don't I? And then hopefully that will spread out to become opaque. Let me see if we're going to go opaque. Yay! In this onsen bath, lovely. Okie dokie. Well, there we go, into the depths. Now you see me? No, you don't. And now I'm out again. Now I'm in. Now I'm out again. So, let me have a look at the other hand, see how this is doing. Oh, I mustn't drop this camera in the bath water. <laughs> let me just put it onto the macro settings. Is that going to make a difference? I don't know. So, yeah. Oh! In the back. Okie dokie! Oh! Can I float? Can I float this week like I did last week? I am floating. 
I'm floating. Look at this. I'm floating. Oh well, enough, I think. <laughs> right. Hmm. There's some new looks for these girls. Here's Grace in her green that she has worn before, admittedly. And here's Jem in her black and yellow. She likes the sort of sunflower arrangements. She's got a sunflower dress that she wears sometimes. And here's Morgana in her Cleopatra look again. Which is rather nice. Hmm. And here's the Bath Olivers. The Bath Oliver tin next to Devon here to show the the height, the, the, how tall they are, the same height as a Barbie doll. There it helps. <laughs> One of these little things in bloom. It's nice to see the autumn leaves on my tree. Nobody else likes them, but I do. Oh, nice. Christmas reindeer from Waitrose. One of these, you know, I like these poppy and lemon, poppy seed and lemon, whatever this is, free from. This from Waitrose, another Christmas spice candle. Christmas candle from Waitrose. That's Fizz. And. Very nice garna pie with egg. Another one of the Starbucks almonds, and I've got a nice cheese twist. It's got lovely cheddar cheese in here. I'll look at that in a minute. There's this nice cheese twist. White rose. I got this from White Rose. This is a toast or waffle. They look quite nice, don't they? The and blueberry wheats, essential wheat ones are really cheap. I got this from my friend from Waitrose. Bath. These are 50 pence a can in Waitrose at the moment. In olive oil, it's very good value. I used to get this from my poor old fish. So anyway, I got it for the um, snails that I still have to still got the snails and they they eat it so flaked this is the flaked they like the flaked and what have i got here you may well ask that's a samiko garashi character oh, lovely flashy here we go there's the label you know i love samiko garashi I love some Garashi. I like them more than I like other characters like Hello Kitty and Pom Pom Perrin and Goody Tama. But they're so cute. Is that a nice picture in the Woodland Trust calendar picture for November? Isn't that lovely? The camera's not doing it justice. It's really pretty. It's here on my friend's landing at the moment. That's lovely. There we go. There's a Clarimonde in a new outfit, and here's Tanya in a new dress. Looking very good. Stand to attention now, we have God Save the Queen. <laughs> Stand up, Tanya. <laughs> I'll give this to um, someone else. I don't think it suits Tania. Not really. It's not really her colour scheme. It's too cool. She's a warmer colour scheme, so I think Lexi look good in this. 
or Nadia. There's Lexi and there's Nadia. So yeah. Here's another outfit for Tania. Looks quite nice, I suppose. I don't know if I like the white hem line. But uh, well, that's okay on her. It's like a sort of leather look skirt and a sparkly top. Hmm. Yes, that looks better now. With, um, so you can't see that white hem line. It just didn't look, didn't look right. Should have used black cotton for that, I think. So there we go, that looks okay for Tanya. It suits her style. Oh, I thought I'd definitely settled on the name for this girl, Jandrina. But now I'm back to the drawing board because it sounds too much like Jantina, one of my other dolls. So I'm thinking Jandressa, Jandrella, Jantessa, Jantressa. Jan oh, I honestly don't know. Back to the drawing board. Jandrell? Oh, I don't know. I can't think what to call this one. It, I just want it to begin with Jan and I want it to have a D in it. I don't know. Janida? Is that a name? Hang on, though. Didn't I decide on calling her Jandita? So if I'd already decided on calling her Jandita, Oh, it's not an easy name to remember. No, no wonder I'm thinking, did I call her Jandrina? Jandita. Maybe it was Jandita. Oh, well, I'm going to have to think about this. <laughs> the dilemmas and choose. Sometimes the names just come to me for dolls, even if I don't particularly like the name. It somehow suggests itself, like the dolls want to be called that, but this one. For some reason, I think she wanted to be called Delia or Della. But I've got another doll called Delia. And Jandella makes me think of Nutella for some reason. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Right, we have started. Yeah, my Christmas spice. Oh, this camera. So, yeah, I've got the Heston. Just looking at showing you this with the camera. And these rather delicious. Look, look at him. A deer in a smoking jacket and a watch, rather delicious mince pies. His mince pies are usually very good. Tea. Um, a little stag. And a new camera. Let's hope he's better than the last, well, the one I'm using. <laughs> There he is, look. That's cute though, isn't he? There, who's this? <laughs> Tea. And here's the little deer, the stag. So pretty. There, I just realised I wasn't on the macro setting. I don't like to be thorough. That he's got, he's got his watch. He's looking at the time because it's the night before Christmas. He wants to know how long. And uh, so these might be quite nice. Got ganache inside. And these things which I've not tried before. Wild rice and lentils. I just had a very unripe banana. This is not. It wasn't that pleasant. I have a haul. What have I got? So have they got a lot to display? Well, yes. But we need the light on, I can see that. You know I love the Sumiko Garashi. Yeah, I'm gonna put the light on. This is ridiculous. I've got another new camera as well. I don't know whether this is um there's gonna be any better than the let me just have a Olympus. I did have an Olympus camera once before, which I was very good. But that had um, 
12 times zoom, uh, this, this one has an idea, it's only got 7. But uh, it's quite nice. Quite nice. I have had a bit of problems for a minute turning itself off. The batteries in it were just completely dead. Well, almost. We'll see how this goes on though when I start using it. So the trouble is it only takes those micro cards which I'm not keen on. Right, I've got quite a big hole here. This I got from Waitrose for one pound. Pine, good value. And from the independent health food store I managed to get some of my delicious, best, best honey I've ever tried. Because the Waitrose don't do the rose one anymore. And look, I bought one of these back to eat here this time. You know, because I like those. See? Let, uh, lemon and poppy seed cupcake. Nice lot of icing on there. Oh, uh, these, the, my, you know, I've got two of those for cheap. Two. I don't know where the other one is at the moment. Oh, it's still in the bag. I put things in a Tesco bag. Wait for it beat. Yes, dude. Well, we just see him blank out now. We just get some things out. Should have done this first, shouldn't I? There we are. Oh. I still can't do it. There we are. There we are. Oh, two for three pound. They're usually two pound each. And the co-op sells them as well. And um, I got these from the independent health food store this time. Organic superseded oat cakes. I did show you these, didn't I? These acrylic paints that I got from the works. See how it blanks it out. I always used to use Liquit Liquitex acrylic. Apparently they are still around, just that I haven't seen any for a while. I got this scented candle from Waitrose. And uh, spiced clementine and pomegranate scented candle. And uh, it's just white inside. But smells nice. Smells quite pleasant. And also, I got another one of these because I love I love this one. The lily flay is a warm blend of cinnamon and cloves. Lily it's by Lily Flame, but Waitrose fortunately do sell their products. See, this is what they look like. They're lovely inside. They're like a work of art. Sorry, this webcam's there. As you can see the proper colour when I hold it further away. But uh, they're lovely, they're nice, so that's that. This from the independent health food store. I'm sure I think that's in French. Nettle tea. I love nettle tea, it's good for you too. I also got this from the independent health food store. Are we upside down? Oh, for goodness sake. Advent calendar, clipper, T24, look. And uh, so you get, hang on, you can open that. And uh, there's a different tea for each day of the month in December. Huh. So that's nice. I wonder which flavours there'll be. Different organic tea for each day of the month. And that's nice. I'll have to look at that with the camera later because it's this blanks it out. From Waitrose, oh, I got that tea from, I said from the independent health food store. This from Waitrose, the Reese's Rounds. You know, I love my Reese's peanut butter cups. Two of these as usual. This is on special offer. The, um, lint. Snowflake. Nice little snowman on top. I only got one of these this week, the Nidra Eggers, because I still have some that I haven't eaten yet. Uh, 
Pacific Red Salmon from Waitrose. And I've got something out of oh, these. Are veggie, kale, and, kale, tomato and spinach. Now I've not tried these before so I don't know what they're going to be like. They're talking about scented candles on the radio at the moment. John West Creation Salmon with Giant Couscous and Lentils. And um, and and Harusa har spices, and uh, you can eat it straight from the pack without having to warm it up. This one is salmon with wild rice and lentils, and honey and ginger. So that looks jolly nice. These look absolutely delicious. Six night before Christmas mince pies, rich fruit and carrot mincemeat with cream sherry in carrot and caraway pastry with a sachet of smoky sugar to sprinkle. That's obviously only nicest if you warm them up first to put the sugar on. Heston from Waitrose. He, um, and I've got something else that uh, looked absolutely delicious but I cannot locate it at the moment. Oh, here it is. I thought I'd get these because they look jolly nice, don't they? Chocolate Bucks Fizz Candles. Irresistibly indulgent, filled with velvety Bucks Fizz mandarin chocolate ganache. Can you read that? I don't know. So they're rather nice, aren't they? Oh, they look like candles. It's funny if you could light them up, wouldn't it? Now I also got a nice little decoration from Waitrose. That's up well for me. Oh, isn't he lovely? Isn't that lovely? Very nice. I shall hang him up on the bedroom door over there when I put the bats away. I've got the, still got the bats up there at the moment because I, I like to see them there, so... I do like to see them there. So yeah, he's cute, isn't he? A nice little thing. Oh, get out of the way. Isn't he cute? A little crystal deer. And for Amazon, let's look at him again in the light now and see if he shows up a bit better. There's some Eco Garashi. Now I love them. Zasu there, I can't see. Yeah, he's down there, I think, at the bottom. The plant. Oh, some Eco Garashi. Ah, uh, it's got the label. Got this one from Amazon. But, you know, I come up thinking, isn't his heart, isn't that heart he's holding meant to be in the middle? Isn't it, isn't it meant to be in the middle and it's over on one side? I'm sure it's meant to be in the middle. So he's holding it in front of him, but it's over on one side. Oh, well, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Well, it does, but it looks like it's, he's holding it sideways. See what I mean? I'm sure it's meant to be in the middle. I'll have to have another look and see. Oh, I'm not going to send it back, though. You know, you, you people, I don't suppose hardly anyone bothers to send things back when they're defective. It's too much bother. Can we... He's so cute though, and the heart, he's got like a little, little fed up face on. Oh, a little fed up face, that's what that looks like, that's how I feel most of the time these days. But um, they talk about lockdown, what lockdown around here, there's people everywhere. So yeah, this is cute. Lockdown suits me because less people about usually the first one did, but the second one you wouldn't know there was one. Anyhow, let's look at this cute little deer stag. Oh, they're all coming down in sort of funny lines. Strange. Where? I wonder why they're all spread out like that. I wonder if I can zoom in. Yeah. I don't even know them. 
this is actually showing up this all that weird fanning out effect oh there's a little insect buzzing about let me zoom it's very sparse isn't it it's very sparse but you can I'm hoping the camera is picking up more than I can see it doing or oh, there's a little insect going up and down as well Oh, it's very windy out there, but um, every time I put the camera on to film it, it goes right down to practically just a slight breeze. But as soon as I turn the camera off, we get quite a strong breeze and the leaves are going mad out there. Oh, dear, well. <laughs> Try again. It's not, um, oh, there's a little bit of um, agitation there. <laughs> and it, very windy out there today. My tree out there is a windy day today. 